Hi, beautiful. If there's one thing I know how to do well, it is a blowout. I can't get enough of them. I love doing it and I'm damn good at it. Over the past 10 years of being a licensed hairstylist, I've accumulated so much knowledge about how to do a blow dry faster, how to make it look better, and how to make it last longer. So let me show you. Let's get Miss Manny Quinn out of here. She has been very nice lately. I did pay her for this video to be in it. So she is extra happy to be here today. You'll see, she's smiling, she's not giving me attitude, and there's not a lot of talking back going on. So that's great. Step one to an amazing blowout is shampoo your hair. If you want your blowout to have a lot of volume and look so sparkly beautiful, make sure those oils are out of your hair. Your natural oils will weigh down your hair and make it look flat and dingy. Let's make sure we do a nice shampoo and a nice condition so we have a nice base to start with. Now that we got that out of the way, let's now towel dry the hair. This step is so overlooked by so many. You really need to scrunch all that water out or else you're just gonna waste your time blow drying and hurt your arm and everything's gonna be painful and annoying and you're gonna get really hot. So scrunch and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch that hair in that towel and use the dry parts of the towel. If the towel's already wet, it's not gonna suck in the moisture. Now let's begin detangling the hair. Please use a detangling brush to do this. You can also use a detangling comb, one with very wide teeth. However, I recommend a detangling brush because there's more bristles, it gets through the hair easier, it's more flexible, and it's overall just a better experience. So use a brush like this with a nice spread apart bristles, it'll run through the hair so easily. When you're detangling your hair though, please do not put too much tension on your hair. If it doesn't easily detangle, you can do one of two things. You can either put some conditioning mist on your hair, of course, you can use hydromanic conditioning mist, it'll make your hair feel so smooth and sexy. Or if there's really, really tough tangles that won't come out, just stop. Don't detangle it anymore. Move on to the next step, which is pre-drying the hair. It is so much easier to get tangles out of the hair once it's already semi-dry, rather than try to do it when it's wet. That's because the hair can stretch out a lot more when it's wet, and the tangles tend to not come out very easily. Versus when it's dry, you can put a lot more tension on the hair and get the tangles out much easier. Also, don't brush your hair back like this unless it's really easy to do. All these girls like ripping their hair out, pulling it all back, and getting their part in there. You should also wait for that step until after you rough dried your hair. You're just gonna put too much tension on that hairline and that is where you're most susceptible to breakage because the hair is weakest around the hairline. And, 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 okay, I'm almost done with the detangling portion. If your hair is super, super tangled, try using your fingers instead of a brush. That is like in the worst case scenario. Use your fingers and don't use a brush at all if it's like insanely tangled. It's product time, baby! I love hair products so much and we have a brand new one that I'm using today Today, which is our Recalibrate Bomb Repair Leave-In Cream. It is going to heal your hair from the inside out and make it look so smooth and healthy and shiny. Oh my God. I know I made this, but holy sh <laughs> Every time I touch it, even my hands become like baby soft. This is gonna restructure your hair from the inside out and has amazing ingredients to make sure your hair is just the most beautiful state it can possibly be in. This is now available on my website, xmondohair.com, along with another brand new product, our Recalibrate Bomb Repair Treatment, which goes amazingly with our Bomb Repair Leave-In Cream. This one I recommend to use every other time you wash your hair or more if you need to, but these two products are amazing for any and all hair types because your hair can be damaged from literally anything from sun exposure to washing your hair actually breaks bonds to blow drying to coloring your hair a lot of things can break bonds and damage your hair internally you want to make sure you're repairing it from the inside out and these two will be your best friends along with our recalibrate bar repair shampoo and conditioner so if you'd like to get them you can do so so we're putting that in the hair I like to wear creams from the bottom up I don't like to put a ton on the top of the head now this cream is not gonna be heavy or weigh your hair down, but because you have so many natural oils on your scalp, it's automatically gonna look healthy and shiny up there no matter what. But if you have very, very curly, coarse hair, definitely put it on the top, put it on that hairline and get it all in there. Now on top of that, of course, I'm putting in some force field heat shield to protect our hair. So important when you're blow drying. I am obsessed with this for blowouts, especially those wavy, curly, gorgeous, like voluminous blowouts. This helps the style last so much. And lastly, because her hair is super tangled, 
we're gonna use our Hydromania Conditioning Mist. Incredible for detangling the hair and just making it feel ultra soft. I cannot stress the importance of good products for a good blow dry. You are never gonna get incredible results without using products. And that is a main difference between doing a blow dry at home and doing it at the salon. And you always get better results at the salon because they know what products to use on you and they're using amazing products. So you must use products if you want a super sexy, super sleek blowout. Literally so important. Okay, this is the step that I see so many people missing on and so many people doing it wrong. You need to rough dry your hair. You need to. You're just gonna waste your time blow drying if you don't. It's just gonna be too much work. Now, not everybody can rough dry to the same amount. Rough drying is not so universal, but we can all rough dry a little bit, at least. If you wanna know how much you should rough dry your hair, well, I made a beautiful little chart for you here. Pause here to see how much you should rough dry your hair before actually going in with, say, a round brush or any kind of styling. Because my fabulous model today, Miss Manny Quinn, has pretty damn straight hair, we are gonna blow dry our hair to 80% dry before we then go in with the round brush. So basically, I like to go in on the roots first. Get those roots dry, okay? That is where most of that water sits and does not wanna come out. That is where the hair is the thickest and the healthiest, so it really grabs onto that water well. Get the hands in there, rake the hair side to side, and get that blow dryer in there close. Now, make sure you direct the air downwards as you rough dry to ensure that you're not getting any more frizz than necessary in your hair. Now, which brush you choose to do your blowout with is up to you. There are many different types of brushes. There are ceramic, there are boar bristle, there are synthetic boar, there are mixes of all of those things. I actually have a video describing each brush and what they're generally used for. It'll be linked down below. So find which one works for you the best and go with that. But today I'll be using a ceramic round brush because I like the way it heats up and gives me a lot of curl and also smooths the hair out really nicely and adds a lot of shine. All right, let's get blow drying. Let's talk about a few things that go with the blow dryer. As I blow dry, I'm gonna be using the air at about the level two setting and the heat setting at the two setting. Like I don't need that much heat. Her hair is not that curly. It's pretty easy to blow out. So I'm gonna be listing over here what heat and air settings you should use for your specific hair type, generally speaking. Okay, let's get our part in the right place first. And now let's section the hair out quickly. I'm gonna use a halo section, which is just around the perimeter of the hair. And this is because you really wanna get the perimeter of your hair done before you do anything else. That part of your hair dries the quickest and you wanna make sure you have a good amount of water in the hair still at that time you do the hairline. Cause if it fully dries, you're gonna be stuck with that frizz forever in that hairline and it's gonna be very hard to get out. Start with the hairline, get that all laid flat. And you wanna do that first because you have the most energy when you first start a blow dry and you need the most energy to get that curl and that frizz right in the front of your hairline and right in the back. A little tip is to also learn how to not put your blow dryer down in between sections. You don't wanna have to shut it off and put it down because that just adds time to the blow dry. You can do many things with it, but you can also just learn to keep it in your hand while you're sectioning at the same time. I swear you can do it. I wouldn't recommend putting it under the armpit or between your legs or something because it can burn you and it's not safe. So learn how to section while holding a blow dryer and it speeds up things so, so much. You're gonna cut down on time a lot. Okay, I'm starting on the hairline. I'm taking big sections, so important to take large sections. And yes, you can even take large sections if you have super curly hair. You just need to make sure you're working the blow dryer around the entire section, not just on the front, not just on the back, but on the top and bottom as well. And really going close to the blow dryer and really go up to those roots and work that air slowly on the roots until they are completely dry and completely smooth. And now you're gonna wanna work onto the second section of the hair, which is the midsection. And then once that's dry, work on the ends. After the ends are are dry, please make sure you seal those ends. You wanna follow the brush all the way down the hair strand until the hair falls off of it. You wanna seal that sh closed. Now twist the hair with the brush and I like to pin up these two front pieces. That way they can set in place and you get a lot of curl right in the front because that's where it really matters. Now I'm going to work around the perimeter of the hair taking very large sections like I've been doing and do the same thing over and over again until you've completed the perimeter. Make sure to always direct the hair downwards in the brush and not directly into the brush. Directing the air directly on the brush is going to give you a lot of frizz. You'll notice that as I blow dry I am elevating the hair 
hair. The more you elevate the hair, the more volume we're gonna get. So keep that elevation there as you're blow drying the roots and as you're drying the ends. We're gonna cut that little circle section in half and work through it in four different sections until the head is completely dry. Now don't worry if it looks a little sloppy right now. It'll all come together beautifully. And the most important part is that we get those two front pieces the most smooth possible. The back, people see it, but nobody's staring at it. Unless it's me walking behind you, then I'm probably staring at it. But work down the hair slower. I know you wouldn't think that working on the hair slower would mean the whole blowout would be done faster, but I swear, the faster you go with the blow dryer doesn't mean it's gonna actually result in having a faster blowout. The slower you work on the hair, the more precision you'll have, and actually you can get the hair drier faster that way. You need to really focus the air on the hair slowly and glide it through until it's finished being dried and you'll get great results that way. You get a lot more shine and you'll really get that cuticle smooth which results in an extra shiny blowout. So we finished the blowout. Ooh, it's looking interesting. It's looking okay, but we can make it look a whole lot sexier and that's what we're about to do. Let's let out those front two sections. This is the most satisfying part for me. Oh, I could do this all damn day. We drop that down. It's looking so bouncy and fresh. Now we can either use a brush, a comb in this situation, or just your fingers to comb it out. You don't want to comb it out too much. However, if you're going to use your hands, don't go over it too many times because there is moisture in your hands and it will pull that blowout out and release some of that curl. So if you want your blowout to last, don't touch your hair too much. I see so many times girls are like, why did my blowout not last? And I'm like, you literally just touched your hair for an hour and pulled on it. Why do you think it's gone? I always, always use some hairspray with my blow dries. I know a lot of people don't like hairsprays. I know, but I don't know how. It's a lifesaver. And your hairspray doesn't have to make your hair hard. There's flexible hairspray. So I'm just gonna spray some hairspray all over. Her hair is not gonna feel hard, I promise. And look at that shine we're getting from the Recalibrate products already. Oh my God. God, it's looking so bouncy and fresh. Gorgeous! Now I just like to twist some pieces, style it a little bit, but you don't need to do much. Oh my God, are you seeing that shine? Oh my God, recalibrate, please. Stop being so damn sexy. Her hair is literally so bright, I can hardly even look at it. It's hurting my eyes. And it feels incredible. I wish you guys could feel it through the screen. You would gag. But that is the blowout. She looks so good. That was so so easy, literally took me 10 minutes and I was filming a video. So it could take even less time than that, but it really shouldn't be that hard to do a great blow dry. Those are my secrets to a great blow dry. I hope you learned a thing or two. Let me know what things you already knew and what things you learned down below. I'm actually so curious to see what your knowledge level was at and how many things you actually learned from this. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.